Hello, through the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. So, I think the point of going that way was to get these various cards of uh, different colours, and I think we already know, yeah, we know what's that way. So, the only way to go then is this way. So you just keeps on going up and down, up and down. What's the point in that? Oh, a thing! I come on, let me get the thing. Assuming I'm in a different place to where I was before. And more so. Alright, oh, well, there's this thing there, so I'll get that. And I might as well just assume that um, that I'm going the right way, and hopefully there'll be another way to uh, go. There'll be a way to go. There'll be a way to go to these other places, um, any place that I've missed at some point. Just as I expected. Okay, whatever it was, I assume that I got it. Bring your fate. You know, it's possible that if they didn't keep on calling me inferior beings, I might be more inclined to not kill them all. Just saying. I have no idea if I'm... I see, I think possibly, um, there was a... Certain way you're supposed to go, and these other ways just keep on bringing you back to places that you've already been to. Okay. Uh, this seems to happen when I try to get that thing, whatever it is, you can only see uh, that you can see sparkling when you're using. Uh, I don't know. If you if you try to get some of those, they do this. Look, I'm going to be trying uh, all of these various different places I could go to see uh, if any of them lead to anywhere useful. So I might just cut some stuff out until I found out um, somewhere that wherever it is I'm actually supposed to go. Okay, I've had to look this up, but now I have a strategy guide for this, and it should be easy enough.
first things first, turn all of these off. Oh, you might have to fight these as well, which is utterly pointless. I don't know why they bother, quite frankly. I've already defeated so many of these, it seems utterly pointless doing this. I don't know why they claim that we're inferior beings, and it only takes 10 seconds to destroy one of them. Look, there's... there's... You're being confident, and there's just stupidity. And these guys are just stupid. All right, there's there's a thing there. Now that means that we've done we've done what we're supposed to do. So now hopefully it will stay like that, and we can do this. Okay, you're gonna need to watch there, so that was the west one. Next, we're going north. I'm going to have to fight this, these Don't guys, but comfortable. never mind. Okay. Alright, excellent. I don't think we're done, but at least we've done something. But what do ah I I found that. Well it's it's not as great as I was expecting, but never mind. Okay, I seem to have gotten a bit lost again, but this isn't impossible for me to get out of it. Ah, okay. Okay, I have no idea how I did that. You're just going to have to look it up on the strategy guide on your own if you want to know. Stop! Let her go! You came to rescue me? Yep. Did they hurt you? Are you okay? We came to rescue you, assuming that you're not secretly a monster. We, uh, pretending to be her. We have run into that kind of problem before. Yes, I'm fine. Chosen One, everybody, thank you all so much. Ah, uh, don't mention it. There is no time to be celebrating. We still need to take care of Magnus. Assistant Governor General Neal is taking the people imprisoned here to safety. Our job is to secure the control room and assure a safe escape. Dor finally mobilized his plans, didn't he? Um... Uh... Yeah? I'm not sure if it's in the control room or not, but in the back is a platform that leads to a room filled with sparkling lights and other magical-looking things. I'll show you the way. Hmm. It may be a bit dangerous, but we'd appreciate your help. I think it's inevitable that it will be a bit quote-unquote dangerous, which really means that I'll defeat whatever it is in less than a minute. Of course! Follow me! Definitely. I don't entirely trust you, but here we go. So this is the control room. So, 
the Forsaken Chosen and her entourage of vermin have finally arrived. Forsaken? That's as interesting that you said that. You got it mixed up, Magnus. You're the one that's forsaken. Your time here is up. <gasps> Oh no! They're the same as all of the others we've killed! <laughs> Just like a bunch of stupid vermin! I know your every move, and I know about those inferior beings trying to escape too! How did Neil get in there? That's a projector. A product of Magi technology. It's a device that displays images of people and things that are far away. We were displayed on here as well. Oh no, they're trapped! Ha ha ha! A wasted effort. Everything you've done is meaningless! Aren't you glad that he's such a three-dimensional, subtly nuanced character instead of just sort of evil for the sake of being evil and has no personality whatsoever apart from his evil? And now I am. How so? We can rescue everyone after we take care of you. Big words from someone whose futile actions caused the disaster at Isalia. That, that was... I know. How about I recreate that incident using the vermin on the projector? Watch. I'll unleash their X-spheres and turn them into monsters! I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> no. Stop! Come on now. I'll be more than happy to turn them into monsters. Just like that old lady you killed. Just like marble! <laughs> Again, I'd really want for you to do it, actually. Marble? You don't mean... Oh, but I do, my little chocolat. Dear old Granny Marble was sent to the Azalea Ranch, where she was killed by Lloyd. I heard she met a pitiful end. Wait, it wasn't like that. Lloyd tried to save her. But the designs turned her into a monster and... Lloyd killed her. No! Chocola! Damn it! Let her go! I don't think they're really holding on to her. Leave me alone! I refuse to be saved by Grandma's murderer! See, that they're, they're standing quite close to her. That's that's not really the same thing, is it? As as grabbing her. I'd rather die. You mustn't say things like that. Don't throw your life away. Dor will save me. Leave me alone. Yeah, because Dor's been so useful so far. <laughs> Right, door. Huh. Well, whatever. Take her away. Stop. Allow these inferior beings to defeat you! Fine! I'll take care of you myself! About time. I'll put an end to the Chosen, right along with you fools who can't let go of your elven blood. You really think you're gonna live through this? Yep. Watch this! <laughs> Eruption! Okay, I'll admit, my heart. No way! I can do it! 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 
Okay, rather annoyingly, um, I don't think you can block Lois's attacks. I'm gonna try to show as much of this as I can, uh, but at the same time, I don't want you to just watch me uh, using items once every uh, 10 seconds. So, we still have a lot to learn. Yeah, to be frank, I didn't do very well there, but I did scan him. Hopefully, I can learn to do better at this. Uh, how? How could a superior half elf like me? It's because you are a fool, Magnius. Crucius has accepted Colette as the chosen. What? That's right. Colette is going to regenerate the world. We're not going to lose to someone like you. So, you're... then... I was deceived. Boy! Damn it! This should allow the people imprisoned in the ranch to escape. What about the x spheres implanted in them? Without key crests, it's only a matter of time before they go out of control. Can't we just take the x spheres off of them? 
It's dangerous to attempt to remove an X-Sphere lacking a key crest. I would imagine only a dwarf could handle it. Then we can ask Dirk to do it. Yeah, let's contact my dad. We can work out the details later. Right now I'm going to program this place to self-destruct. Ready? Are you serious? Could you give us like an hour to escape here? Possibly two hours. Rain, if you do that... The stupidest thing you could do is uh, just give us a few minutes. At the very least, we'll deal a major blow to the design stranglehold over this region. If we're going to strike them, it should be thorough and decisive. Rain? Remember, Genus, we're not like them. We're different. I've set the self-destruct timer for 10 minutes. Let's hurry See, and evacuate. I told you! Set it for at least an hour! Why do you set it where we barely have enough time to escape? Characters always do this in games and films. Why do you do this? You know, you could just walk if you give us 60 minutes. I must inform Porcistus while I can. I have a slight problem with you contacting Lord Porcistus. He realized what I'm trying to do. Rodile! You... you deceived me! There was no order to eliminate the Chosen, was there? <laughs> Collecting gold for me? Attempting to eliminate the Chosen for me? You've been quite useful, Magnus. Farewell! I hope you enjoy the afterlife! Damn it! Lord Yggdrasil! Glory to the coming age of half-elves! Couldn't you have told him this after your ran as far away as possible.
Okay, this seems like... Well, to be honest, I've been doing this for quite a while, and I really, really want to end the episode there. I will see you next time.